ever wondered what the future holds for the stock market? Well, you're not alone. This year has been a roller coaster ride for the stock market, but far from a cause for complaint. In fact, markets have been scaling new heights, even soaring past analysts' estimates for 2024. The S&P 500, a widely tracked index of American stocks, has surged by more than 10% since the start of the year. Just last week, it crossed a significant milestone, surpassing Goldman Sachs's year-end target of 5,200. This achievement has left many of us scratching our heads asking, what's next for the stock market? It's a question that's not lost on the minds of investors or on the strategists at Goldman Sachs. In a note penned last Friday, these strategists, led by Goldman's chief U.S. equity strategist, David Costin, painted a picture of the future. They proposed a scenario where the titans of tech could continue their upward trajectory, potentially driving the S&P 500 a further 15% higher to hit the 6,000 mark by year's end. Now this rally in growth stocks isn't a carbon copy of what we saw when the markets plummeted in 2021 or during the tech bubble of the late 90s. This time investors are keeping a keen eye on the bottom line, focusing on the profits these companies are truly generating. And while the buzz around artificial intelligence and other emerging tech is reaching fever pitch, Goldman's analysts assure us that the valuations of the largest technology media, and telecommunications stocks are still a long way off from bubble territory. Of course, the future is never certain. Goldman Sachs also outlines a more tempered scenario, where the S&P 500 climbs a modest 11% to reach 5,800 by year's end. In this case, the markets would simply be playing catch-up, returning to their pre-pandemic valuation levels. With the market's recent performance, it's only natural to wonder what comes next. Goldman Sachs's analysts have presented different scenarios for the future of the stock market. The first scenario is one of tremendous growth, driven by the mega cap tech stocks. These are the behemoths of the tech industry, companies with market capitalizations in the hundreds of billions, if not trillions of dollars. Think of the likes of Google, Amazon, Microsoft, and Apple. The analysts project that these tech giants could continue their growth trajectory, pushing the S&P 500 an additional 15% higher to the 6,000 level by year's end. Now, you might be wondering, haven't we seen this before? But according to the analysts at Goldman Sachs, this rally is different from previous ones. In the past, market crashes such as the one in 2021 or during the tech bubble, investors were not as discerning. Today, however, they are paying closer attention to the profit margins of these companies, scrutinizing the bottom line more than ever before. The analysts also point out that despite the high enthusiasm for sectors like artificial intelligence, the valuations for the largest technology, media, and telecommunication stocks are still far from bubble territory. In other words, there's still room for growth without the fear of a bubble burst. The second scenario presented by Goldman Sachs is a more tempered one. It proposes a situation where the S&P 500 climbs a modest 11% to reach 5,800 by year's end. In this case, the market doesn't need to make any leaps and bounds. Instead, it simply needs to catch up to its pre-pandemic valuation levels. It's like a marathon runner who's fallen behind the lead pack. They don't need to suddenly sprint and overtake everyone else. They just need to gradually pick up the pace and catch up. That's what the market needs to do in this scenario. Gradually increase in value until it matches the level seen before the global health crisis. But of course, these scenarios are not set in stone. They are projections, best case estimates based on current trends and data. There are numerous factors that could influence the trajectory of the market, ranging from global geopolitical issues to changes in domestic economic policies. One of the key factors that the analysts highlight is the Federal Reserve's next policy move. The central bank's decisions on interest rates and monetary policy can have a significant impact on the market. If the Federal Reserve decides to keep interest rates elevated for longer than expected due to persistently high inflation, this could dampen the market's growth. These scenarios present a potential future where the market continues to rise. But what factors could influence this? 
In the next scene, we'll delve deeper into the factors that could impact the market's trajectory and how investors can navigate these uncertain times. The future of the stock market is not determined in a vacuum. Several factors could influence its trajectory. One of the most critical elements in this equation is the Federal Reserve's policy decisions. The central bank's moves are akin to a puppet master pulling the strings with the market dancing to its tunes. Let's delve into it. The Federal Reserve's policy decisions can have a profound impact on the market. For instance, if the Federal Reserve decides to hike interest rates, it can curb borrowing, dampen investment, and ultimately slow economic growth. This move could trigger a bearish trend in the stock market. On the other hand, if the Federal Reserve maintains or lowers the interest rates, it might encourage borrowing, boost investments, and stimulate economic growth. This could spur a bullish trend in the market. However, the current market scenario presents a unique challenge. Investors are increasingly worried about the high for longer interest rates. The term high for longer essentially means that interest rates would remain elevated for a prolonged period. This could put a damper on borrowing and investments, thereby slowing down economic growth. Why is this a concern, you ask? Well, high interest rates can increase the cost of borrowing for companies. This could lead to a decrease in corporate profits and potentially lower stock prices. The fear of this scenario playing out is currently weighing on the market, creating a sense of uncertainty amongst investors. Yet, it's important to remember that these are just possibilities. The actual impact would depend on how the Federal Reserve reacts to the evolving economic landscape and how investors interpret these actions. The central bank's next policy move could either accentuate the current rally or trigger a market correction. These factors could tip the scales in either direction. But what if things don't go as expected? In the world of finance, as in life, there's always the unknown, the unpredictable. And that's where things get really interesting. Goldman Sachs's analysts also presented a worst-case scenario for the stock market. In this less-than-rosy forecast, the titans of the tech industry, those mega-cap stocks that have been largely driving the market's upward trajectory, could fail to meet the sky-high expectations set for them. Now, what does that mean? It implies a potential market slump, a chilling prospect that could see markets plunge by a stark 14% before the year is out. Quite a tumble, isn't it? This scenario is not a prophecy set in stone, but rather a cautionary tale. A reminder that the road to prosperity is often fraught with bumps and unexpected turns. It's a stark contrast to the optimistic predictions we've discussed so far, but it's crucial to remember that markets, much like life, are unpredictable. The tech industry has been a powerhouse, a veritable engine of growth. But what if these tech giants stumble? What if the anticipated profits turn out to be mirages? The ripples of such an event would undoubtedly be felt across the market, causing tremors that could shake investor confidence and send stock prices tumbling. Despite this potential headwind, Goldman Sachs' analysts are standing firm on their baseline prediction. They're keeping that figure of 5,200 for the S&P 500 unwavering, a sign of their confidence in the resilience of the market. This suggests an anticipated market drop of about 1% before the year concludes. It may seem counterintuitive to maintain such a stance in the face of a possible downturn. But remember, forecasts are not certainties. They are based on a myriad of variables, many of which are as volatile as the market itself. Goldman Sachs's analysts are playing the long game here, keeping their eyes fixed on the horizon rather than getting swayed by the potential stumbling blocks that may lie on the path. Their steadfastness is a testament to their belief that despite any short-term fluctuations, the market's inherent strength will prevail. While this scenario isn't what investors would hope for, it's important to consider all possibilities when planning for the future. So where do we stand on the future of the stock market? We've seen several potential scenarios laid out by the analysts at Goldman Sachs. They've shown us a world where mega-cap tech stocks continue to drive the S&P 500 up, possibly reaching a level of 6,000 by year's end. They've also presented a more tempered outlook, where the market only needs to catch up to pre-pandemic valuation levels, climbing 11% to reach 5,800. 
However, they've also warned us of a worst-case scenario, where failure to meet expectations could cause a 14% drop in markets. But let's not forget, these are predictions, and the reality could deviate. There are numerous influencing factors at play, and the Federal Reserve's next policy move is one to watch closely. While the future of the stock market may be uncertain, being informed and prepared can help you navigate whatever comes next.